一。Hi, I'm Xiang Yusong. Our group is Group Twenty Five, and we have four group member. That's our group member, and we use the image classification. Next page. And the problem we choose is license plate recognition. Our prob problem is to process image containing license plate through a、uh, image recognition. Okay, to analyze, process, and recognize characters and numbers. With the development of graphics and image technology, the current license plate rec recognition technology is more accurate. And faster. Next, and why we choose this problem? The license plate analyzer system, based on image recognition and deep de deep learning, has been used in many fields. People have also conducted a lot of search for the development of this technology, because also we think it's very interesting. Next page. Uh, the entire program contains five process: learning and training, picture and processing, uh, lessons plate positioning, lessons plate cutting, and character recognize. So it can be used many fields. Firstly, we can see it can be used the car park. Nowadays, more and more car parks with No stuff have been appeared. It really can decrease the cost. Next page. It、uh, the system also can be used in traffic field. The traffic, uh, the system can track the traffic violations. It's very useful. Next. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I'm Zhibin. Uh, the character recognition of the license plate is the key factor that the license plate recognition system can finally realize. Uh, is to recognize the license plate character after the license plate location and the license plate character segmentation. Uh, our project is character recognition based on classified. The main idea is to automatically classify data into known type by training sample data. Uh, the classifier is a、uh, actually a mathematical model. Uh, there are many types of classifier. We use uh decision tree, k nearest neighbor. And、uh, support vector machines technical. Next page. Now I will talk to you about decision tree. Ah,、uh, decision tree algorithm is a very commonly used, ah,、uh, supervised learning classification method. It uses the、uh, statistical character characteristics of data like. Information gain and entropy to form a decision tree, so as to judge its feasibility from top to next step. Each internal node of the decision tree represent represent a judgment on an attribute, and each branch represents represents the output of a judgment result. And finally, each left node represent a classification result. Ah,、uh, next page. Ah,、uh, the basic idea of decision tree is that as the depths of the tree increase, the entropy of the node decreases rapidly. Ah,、uh, it's better when entropy decreases faster, so that we can hope to get a decision tree with the choice high. So, what is entropy? In the most layman terms, entropy is nothing but the Measure of disorder, or、uh, you can think of it as a measure of purity as well. Ah,、uh, the mathematical formula for entropy is here, where pi is simply the frequent 
which is probability of an element or class I in our data. For example, this is say class S. Let's say we only have two classes, a positive class and a negative class. Therefore, I here could be either positive or negative. So overall, compared with other classification algorithms, the DNA tree has uh, advantages for strongly intelligibility and uh, fast speed. However, DNA tree is may prone to overfitting. Uh, that is a DNA tree technical. Now let's will come Leon to discuss scaling algorithm. I will introduce the k nearest neighbor uh, algorithm using using machine learning to realize the license plate recognition. The k nearest neighbor algorithm logic is very simple and clear. The main idea is to perform distance calculation on a sample to be predicted and uh, each sample in the same sample. Set of non uh, classifications and uh, select the first uh, k value k k samples where with uh, with the shortest uh, distance. Along the k k samples, the one with the largest number of the classifications will be the cl classification result of the sample to be predicted. The algorithm mainly has the three elements, near, namely the truth of the k value, the management of the distance, and the rulers of the classification decision. The determ determination of these three elements will have, have a greater impact on the result. We use the k near list neighbor algorithm to identify the character image in the in the license plate samples and get the results through the calculation of the k near list neighbor classifier. However, the result of the k near list neighbor applied in the license plate recognition is not very good. Because first of all, the the algorithm needs this algorithm needs, needs the, to compare the sample with all samples in the in a sample set of non classified cases. So the time com complexity of the of the algorithm is very is relatively high, and uh, the actual in fact, of the algorithm is very, very high. Then it also depends on the quality of the of the sample set of the known classification. This will case a lot of the errors. So the final recognition ability is of the license plate is very poor. Okay, next part. Welcome, Yuhang. Thank you, Lin. Now I am going to talk about support vector machine. Well, support vector machine is a binary classification algorithm, a set of supervised learning methods used for classification, regression, and outlier detection. Its goal is to create the best straight line that can divide the n-dimensional space into classes or to make decisions more convenient. In the future, we can more easily put new data points into the correct classes. Next page. Well, support vector machine can be divided into two categories, linear SVM and nonlinear SVM. In the perceptual model, this algorithm finds a divided hyperplane in uh, in the data in order to distribute distribute more data on both sides of the plane to achieve the classification effects but 
in the actual data, the hyperplane may meet the requirements more than one. Linear SVM can find the point, point closest to the hyperplane and find the best solution according to the constraints. Next page. Well, the other is nonlinear SVM. In nonlinear SVM, the data must be linearly separable to find the hyperplane of the classification. However, linear data sets sometimes appear abnormal. We can see in the figure that the red dots are positive samples and the blue dots are negative samples. The boundary between them is very clear and the green circle in the picture can separate them because these samples are linearly indivisible in two-dimensional space. <coughs> Circles cannot be represented by nonlinear functions in two-dimensional space. We can make these two-dimensional inseparable samples linearly separated in two-dimensional space in high-dimensional space. Next page. According to the advantages and disadvantages in the table, when the number of samples in limited SVM is faster and has higher performance, this algorithm is suitable for next classification problems. Now I would like to hand over to Yongxin. Um, thanks, Yu Hao. Uh, thanks the speech of Yu Hao. Uh, I'm Yongxin. Now, uh, I will, I will show the, I will show the uh, program of our, um, our team. Um, uh, before I show the program of our team, I will, uh, briefly explain, and uh, the template matching at first. Uh, the template matching is one of the main methods of uh character, uh, recall recognition uh, so we added to compare another three uh, algorithms the step of the template matching is to establish a template library and uh, binaries the characters to be re re recognized and uh, normalize them then uh, character are uh, the character are then matched to all templates. Finally, the best match is selected as the result. The recognize uh, the recognition uh, accuracy of this uh, algorithm is high. However, um, uh, Ignoring the details of characters will lead to errors in recognizing recognizing similar characters. Um, and now I will show you our uh, the program of our team. Uh, at first is the data site uh, of of the program. Uh, is uh, it's a training set. Uh, the data, uh, the training set is made up of uh, numbers and uh, and the letters. Yeah. Yeah. And then. And then, um, it's the it's the main it's the main code of uh. uh Training of uh, training model, um, it used to build a um, training model of these three ag uh, ag ag results, uh, and let's see that. And uh, it's the predict uh, predict feature. Uh, is the code of pretty feature. Uh, this part is the um, parameters 
of uh, GLCM. And and it's a extract feature, extract feature. Okay, uh, that's all of the code that built the training model. Uh, for the this uh this pro uh, this program is the main code of our program. Um, let's see that. And then it's the code of get word. It's the expansion code. And it's a divided code. And now I will um I will show you uh, show you our program. So we should uh, uh, input the image at first uh, is from the, our test case. And then we will do image process. And uh, it will show the uh, result. Uh, for, this, for this part, uh, we can see that uh, from the person, uh, perspective of accuracy, uh, the accuracy of template matching is the highest, and uh, then SVM and the decision tree has almost the same accuracy. Uh, KN has the worst, uh, worst, uh, worst accuracy. Um, that's all of our uh, group's presentation. Uh, thanks for watching.